I wanted to uh, thank everybody that was involved with the technology that I started using 11 years ago. I cannot express the excitement I had the first time I met with uh, one of the representatives and they showed me how to take my design and project it out on the ground and we could take the team out there and evaluate it. Um, and as it says right here, I've, I've been designing uh, on civil projects for 28 years and the last 11 years uh, I've used ArcPad as a tool to assist me in my design. And in this presentation, I'm gonna relate my experience with those past 11 years, uh, why should you design live in the field? And, and how would you like to see live in the field? The process and what's needed for geo design, design live in the field. And I'm gonna give you an example of a recent project that I was working on. Um, this process I call uh, live field design has been developed uh, based on uh, needs that we had on projects. It was, it was developed to meet uh, needs and fast paced goals of projects. These, I work a lot of times for um, private developers and their goal is time is money and they, their product is what they sell so if you can enhance your product it sells better and the whole process works better. So the uh, added benefit and what enhances the value of the product is to be able to be sensitive to their environmental features and enhance them in, as part of your design while you're live out in the field. So uh, why do you design live? Um, one of the big reasons is it saves time. Uh, surveying time, it probably cut it from 25 to 50 percent. In uh, engineering time, it probably 25 to 50 percent also. It reduced the construction schedule and the field changes because we were live out in the field. We anticipated a lot of the uh, features out there that sometimes caused interruptions in schedules and field changes. Uh, because of the previous items, it saved cost. It saved uh, 10 to 25 percent of the design cost. Uh, it saved five to 10 percent of the construction cost. So we had a better design and we eliminated changes. The project team could uh, visualize design during the entire process. And when I say project team, uh, on the, this example, a res residential subdivision, we had the designer or designers out there, I was out there, the developer, the owner, you had the um, operators, the managers of the property, and you also had the salespeople who were going to sell it to the end buyer. So you had a lot of input while you were creating your design. Uh, changes were made live in the field. We would uh, sometimes get comments, it's very similar to the diversity of this group here, from from people that are involved in the process that you didn't anticipate or expect but improved your design. So it was an excellent process. The uh, live field design, I say, is a, is a true site design because you are placed out on your site. I'm going to show you how that process works. But I want to use a little analogy right here. Um, in this application, I see the GPS on the site relating back to the previous uh, way of design is the cursor on the computer screen or the pencil on the paper. That GPS is positioned to me out on the site and give me the capability to know exactly where I'm at. And with this software, I can draw and insert and sketch and, and do all kinds of things on the site that I could not do before. And uh, here, here's some questions. How would you like to see your design projected out on the site one day after the concept's drawn? instant evaluation almost. Uh, how would you like to have an on-site meet with the design team and edit as you see it on the site? How would you like to avoid the field issues that I, I mentioned earlier? Uh, many times uh, projects were stopped because we just did not see those issues in the office and, and they, were, they occurred out in the field. Uh, how would you like to uh, insert the building that you're designing for out there and walk to where the future window is going to be and look at your view. It's just it's just amazing tool to have your site projected out on the design. This is my diagram of, of how the process went before I used uh, ArtPad and projected my designs out of the The items in green I controlled. Now 
one issue when you're working for a, a client is that he wants you to control the whole process. You're responsible for it whether you have the ability to control it or not. So you, you went from, um, see if I can or word right. you went down this process right here, which is normal process, the surveyor, and surveyor you did not control, and he did not control the weather, and there were a lot of uh, factors that would increase the time in the design process. But he produced a, a CAD file drawing from you, and you took the CAD file drawing, and you created a conceptual design, and then you got into what I've called as the cycle of design. And in that cycle, the, the surveyor staked your design out in the field, and, and you had a meeting in the field with you and the owner and possibly some of the other people I talked about, and you uh, made comments and changes. You went back to the office. You revised your CAD drawing. You reissued it to the surveyor. He went back out again, and he laid it, and, and so on and so on. The cycle continued. And uh, the problem was we could not predict the construction time. And that's, that's time and cost. So uh, with the ArcPad process, what I want to do is show a, a different layout.